I had Tally, my daughter, she's four years old, do up this really neat chart for me. Can you see this? And I'm going to bring it up on the screen for you. Let's see here. This is my four-year-old daughter. Has done up a form from this website that is uh, Robbie's favorite for this week. It's called fontcapture.com. So Natalia, at four years old, has gone through this uh, form and basically copied the letters. So A, B, C, D. And she's doing pretty well for a four-year-old. She sure is. So she's gone through all this. And she has created, at four years old, her own true type font. Yeah, I love it. It's so cool. Kelly font. So this is, yeah, it's called Natalia 2009. Mm. We should probably make it downloadable off our website just because it's so darling. And she drew me a picture on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Probably not under these lights. It just looks completely white. But uh, So what this is at uh, fontcapture.com. Now, just a couple of days ago, uh, this gentleman uh, released this software on the web, fontcapture.com. I was talking to Hakon uh, Berthusen, I believe is, is how you would say his last name. Uh, and forgive me if I've got it wrong there, but uh, Hakon had said that... Uh, that he just created the software on the web and the response has just been incredible and I think it's because it's a really novel idea that you can go to his website, you get this PDF and you just print this out just like you saw on the screen there, I know it's just showing up white here and you just write out all of the characters of the alphabet in uppercase, lowercase and then all the special characters and num numerics as well and then scan it into your computer so you need a printer and you need a scanner and then you'll be able to uh, go to that website and actually create a TTF font, which I is compatible it. with Windows, Linux, and Mac. So let's just bring up that, uh, that website for you here. And it just looks like this. So check it out. It's fontcapture.com, Robbie's favorite for this week. And you actually get to type in your own handwriting. So just follow the steps. Really, really nice and easy. You need a printer, you need a scanner, and you'll be able to create a font that now you can type with your own handwriting. Uh, through Windows, Linux, or Mac. If you're on Linux, once you've created that font, you're going to get, and it doesn't matter what system you're on, you're still going to get a TTF file. So I have this uh, TTF of Natalia 2009. And you can see it's even, she's even done some nice little drawings in there as well, little smiley faces and things. So once you have that font, in Linux, let's bring up our terminal. So applications, accessories, terminal and now grab wherever you've got that font so go into in my case it's on the desktop so now CP uh, the font so Natalia 2009.ttf I need to put a pseudo before that so pseudo CP Natalia 2009.ttf and then the destination is going to be user share true uh, fonts true type I believe we'll just confirm that by hitting enter and see if that works Yes, there we go. Hmm. So that now has thrown that font into our true type font folder on our computer. So if we actually bring up Notilis, or Nautilus, I keep doing that, hmm. I'm going to get my pronunciation real good sometime soon. So if I go into that folder, you'll see now there is there a is. Natalia 2009.ttf. Now I had to use sudo because I don't have write permissions to this folder, you'll see. So I can't just copy it from my desktop and paste it in. Pardon me, because there is no access to paste mm -hmm. here or do anything. So by using sudo in the terminal, I've been able to copy that into a folder that I personally don't have permission to. So now that I've done that, I've got to refresh my font cache so that I can now start typing with that font in Linux. So that's another thing that's nice and easy. All that you have to do is from that terminal window again, sudo fc-cache-fv. So once you type that into your terminal, it's just going to go right through all of the new fonts, sudo fc-cache-fv. That's going to reload your font cache, grab that new font, add it to your, uh, to your system. This is in Linux. And then you're going to be able to type with that. So first thing I did was typed a nice little letter for my wife oh. in Natalia's handwriting. So here, as a, as a four-year-old, uh, she's written something and then... I think the comma was actually this little smiley guy. <laughs> so in, in this case, I thought it would be a cute thing to do for my daughter because we'll do it once a year and, and she'll have a font 
of each year, kind of her progress as she learns to do the alphabet. But in your case, it's a cool way for you to be able to, uh, maybe you've got really nice handwriting, maybe you've got, maybe you'd like to even be creative with this, even use this if you've got uh, like a, uh, an Intuos, Intuos 4 uh, tablet from Wacom or something like that. You could actually do this on your screen and really do some fancy looking fonts, upload the font, uh, the, the, your scan of the font or your file, your ping file or GIF file, and then have it converted to uh, a TTF, which is very, very cool. I think that's really great. So now it, the licensing of the font is that you have the full license for that font. Uh, basically, it falls under something similar to Creative Commons, and uh, because he didn't realize that it was going to have such a great response, he says that he didn't really think of the licensing thing, but his intention is that everybody who creates their own fonts, it's your font, and you can do what you like with it. And the branding is, is null. Um, the font just works. It's just a straight TTF. It just has a little comment if you view the font. Uh, that it was created on his website, and I think that's more than fair. What a great community service. I think it's a really cool Good service. On him. And just that it's something that is compatible with all platforms hmm. as a TTF font. So check that out. Again, that is fontcapture.com. I think that is definitely a good Robbie's favorite for this week, and I think it's something that you should check out. And if you like the service, why don't you, uh, you know, do, do an extra special uh, thing and just send a comment to the author of the program right off of their website just with the contact mm -hmm. link and just nice. say look I, I saw th I saw your product on category 5 TV I think it's great thank you for providing this for the community and, mm -hmm. and I think that definitely as a free service I think that will encourage them to keep it free I think it's a really great yes. thing I think that it's something that uh, that could get him a lot of attention too because it's it's kinda one of those things why didn't someone else think of that and recognition is a very valuable form of payment. I think that it's just nice to know that you're appreciated. Exactly. And that's, that's why you know maybe the community is so special to me in some ways is that mm -hmm. it's nice to know that people appreciate what I do. Mm -hmm. And so give him the same thing and just say, hey, thanks for this.